Oh, hi folks, Kevin here again. So I'm out on the trail once more on a Friday evening. Today I'm going to be doing the Kopper Ö nature trail. Kopper Ö is a Swedish name for the place. Kopper is metal, copper, and Ö is an island, so Kopper Island. So there's the open sea on one side, and then there is a channel that runs through between the islands which is actually kept open for boaters to pass through. It gives them a shortcut while they're going all the way around the island itself. So, yeah, pretty cool. I found this trail on all trails and uh, it's eight kilometers altogether. It's an out and back trail with a bit of a loop at the, at the far end. And uh, there are three places where you can light fires, designated fire spots and also there are dry toilets available. There was a sign just now that said that there's Hiden Kirnut and Hiden Kirnut translated from Finnish is a goblin churn. And these are basically potholes or sinkholes that have been formed during the last glaciation. What happens is is that you get depressions in the rocks much like the ones here and here and then you get stones gathered in them and uh, with the flowing water coming out from underneath the glacier, the stones get spun around in the depressions and they act like drill bits and they drill down. But let's see it's uh, how deep it is. Okay, maybe yeah, 30 centimeters deep. But uh, they can be meters wide and also meters deep in places. Currently it's about 20, 21 degrees and uh, it's not forecast to get lower than uh, I think 14, 13 tonight. So uh, very, very pleasant camping conditions. So here's the map along the trail, very convenient. So I parked my car here in Koppere across the suspension bridge there. Now we're on Long Ern, literally Long Island. And uh, there's a toilet and a fireplace very close. Where we're gonna continue on all the way to the next island, which is Stora Sande, Stora Sande, literally large sand island, translated from Swedish. And I think uh, I'm going to go at least as far as there tonight. If I still have energy, I might even call, continue on and then go to there. So then I have a relatively shorter walk back to the car in the morning. So this is the second bridge leading from this island onto the terminal island which is Stora Sand or Large Sand Island and uh, it's looking a little bit rickety. Uh, one common feature of winters in Finland is that when the sea ice freezes it has a tendency to grip the pilings on bridges and piers and then lift it and move them so they end up looking a bit warped and uh, yeah this seems to have happened to this bridge as well it's not exactly as straight maybe as it should be or as it was when it was originally built okay about 50 meters along the trail there's what's clearly a well and a pump and bucket but the sign in Finnish says Veden käytä omalla vastulla or in Swedish Vatnat anvens på eget ansvar So basically it's use the water at your own risk Total setup time was about I'd say 20 minutes to half an hour so not too bad for a first time setup um, it should in increase in speed with time. I must say, actually, it looks very stylish, and uh, yeah, I, uh, I certainly like the look of it. Good morning, folks. Well, it's my first night spent in the Amok Drummer ultralight hammock. Uh, yeah. It, very comfortable, otherwise it was a very peaceful night. 
yeah. So uh, I'm going to get up now, and I am going to probably have a quick dip in the sea, just to get myself awake and fresh, and then I'm going to put some breakfast on. So this is my view from my hammock. Absolutely stunning nature here with the sea and the wooded islands. Ooh. I was staying at a hotel recently and I came across these uh, fresh drip coffee dispensers, I suppose you call them. Um, I thought they were co quite cute so I decided to take the take them with me. There's just a, a bag of coffee which has like this uh, cardboard on the side and all you do is simply tear the bag to open it on the top and then this is the bit I like you unfold the the uh, cardboard pieces they look like a little bit like wings and then I hope my cup isn't too wide it sits around the edge of the cup perfectly looks like that and then you simply pour your coffee in quite ingenious it makes actually pretty okay coffee as well Okay, so thank you to this lovely spot, Sandon Eadet, for hosting me for the night. It's uh, really fantastic and I'm going to have to come here again. So now I'm going to do a tour of the island and make this final loop before uh, returning back the way I came. So I'm on the last leg of the trail back to the car. Overall, very happy with the hammock. And uh, I look forward to trying it out again. This uh, particular location was uh, superb for a hike. And also on the journey, since I packed up from where I was camped, I found potentially several more sites that could also be uh, visited with a hammock or indeed with a tent. So uh, I'm looking forward to come back here again. So all in all, I would say this uh, camping trip has been a success and uh, I'm very satisfied and pleased. So, okay, I'm not too far from the car now. So I will say goodbye here and uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, consider watching some of my other ones. And uh, yeah, by all means, leave a comment down below. Or if you have any questions about the Amok, about my experience, please feel free to ask. I'll be happy to try and answer them if I can. So, until my next video and I catch you out on the trail again, this is Kevin signing off from Copper Flood and Trail. All the best. Moi moi.